So today we're here to answer the age old question of which is better, the FreeSync, specifically FreeSync Premium, or G-Sync. And there's no better way to test out which is better than using the LG 32 GN 50T. And let me tell you why. This guy is a 165 Hertz, one millisecond response time, FreeSync Premium, G-Sync compatible monitor. It's 1920 by 1080p, HDR 10-bit compatible, and we're gonna unbox this bad boy and test the two side by side with my RTX 3090 and RX 5700 XT. says open here. So let's pop this bad boy open. Sha, Booyaka sha. So inside of the box, you get a display port cable. Of course, you're gonna get your power cable, a couple screws to mount the stand and instructions there. But one thing that, you know, catches my attention right away is definitely the stand. And it feels a little cheap, but it's a decent stand to start with. This is the post here for the stand that hooks onto the back of the monitor. Feels a little cheap, but it'll do the trick. This is a little vanity monitor here. Vanity monitor. This is a little vanity cover here. Essentially, it's made to go over the back of this guy. Let's put this bad boy down got tape on my foot and this is it this is the monitor itself bam and that's pretty sweet i mean i love the style of lg you guys saw the gn850 that i i did and the style was very similar have this bump out here it's got venting so you can keep your monitor cool while you're gaming you've got display port two hdmis headphone jack and of course uh, your power here and then a 100 by 100 VESA compatible monitor so you don't have to put it on you know to be honest the cheap stand that it comes with but let's get this thing assembled so we can really fire it up and test out what this video is about which is FreeSync versus G-Sync and this is the perfect monitor to highlight that so let's get it set up I guess the running joke is that everyone uses the iFixit tools for PCs and things like that, but you know, it is what it is. That's what I use, I like it. <laughs> it comes with, the, oh my God, there we go. I guess I bought into the Kool-Aid there. Oosh, yard. All right, so we're gonna be testing out the 5700 XT just to start uh, so you guys can see the FreeSync capability and then we'll plug in the 3090 uh, so you can check that out as well. But let's jump on over and take a look. And just so you guys can get an idea here of what we're running, I'll show you. Here's the 3090. I know the, the light's not that great because I don't have it turned on at the moment. And then we have the 5700 XT. Hopefully you can kind of see that. So first and foremost, FreeSync Premium and G-Sync are very, very similar. FreeSync Premium offers a lot of low latency support, artifacting support, and then of course, it does match the monitor's frames per second in game uh, or refresh rate uh, to the frames per second in game. G-Sync is fairly similar. They also do the, uh, they boast like a non-artifacting style technology to, to help with those frame rates and that smoothness in game. They're basically based off the same variable sync technology, but they implement it differently. First and foremost, we want to take a look at settings. Now for free sync, it is uh, my card, the 5700 XT does not show up as uh, free sync premium. You will see that my AMD free sync technology is optimized. It's on. So here's the big secret, you guys. To get FreeSync Premium to function on this monitor, what you need to do is actually plug in HDMI. So I know that's not the best lighting there, but you can see I've got an HDMI and HDMI one, and that's coming down here to the FreeSync card. The cool part is and the extra special part about this monitor is that that FreeSync Premium actually works on both NVIDIA cards and Radeon graphics cards. 
The big kicker, man, is that when you enable that, what it allows you to do is come over here and go to your FreeSync Premium and set that to basic. And again, the benefits of FreeSync Premium is the fact that at lower frames per second through HDMI, you can actually get inserted frames into your game. So no matter what, whether you're getting 35 or 165 Hertz with this monitor, you're actually going to be getting the best possible performance. And the fact that it, that it offers the anti-artifacting capability and a faster response time is just a massive benefit that G-Sync currently doesn't offer. Something that's unique about this particular monitor is that it allows you to do a lot of actual fine tuning here. So in my Gamer 1, which is a custom preset, I can go through and my picture adjust and I have tons and tons of picture adjust here. Even the LG GN850 did not have this much control over my picture. Uh, so I'm extremely happy for that. I actually went in and did, did a calibration, uh, but I'm not gonna do that here. Maybe that's another video. Okay, let's check out some cars. Let's see, real quick, I'm actually hitting max, max capability here. 144, 88, drop to 88 there. Boom, flash that sucker. Ooh, that was a good, I'll slow that down a bit. We can take a look at that. Damn, look at that, spot on, bro. C4, baby. Ooh, there's a bit, bit of a stutter there. I don't know if you guys saw that. So now that we're in game, we can see that our refresh rate is actually adjusting here. 103, our free sync is on basic, uh, and then we have one millisecond motion blur off, fast response time. Now, if you're getting anything over 100 frames per second, you want that response time to be fast. If you're getting under 100 frames per second, put it on medium. But let's jump in and we'll play a little, let's do a little nuke town 24 seven. Uh, I'll give it, mm, I'll give the shaders a little bit longer to go. Wow, no stutter, no lag. You know, obviously if I'm going super fast, I'm getting motion blur, but this, no, not happening, dude. This is legit. So maybe there's a game you play that's AMD optimized, like Borderlands 3, and a game that's NVIDIA optimized, like Call of Duty. Well, I might actually want to use AMD's capability here uh, on Borderlands, and I may want to use G-Sync on Call of Duty. So I can actively swap between the two and use the different technologies uh, kind of based on where they're optimized. And honestly, I think that's a huge benefit that most people aren't talking about right now. You know, man, hey, check this out. Fidelity is great. Motion capability is great. Uh, I'll do a little slow-mo here so you guys can check that out and I'll break it down. And then we'll get into the NVIDIA G-Sync capability using the RTX 3090. I won't make this video too long, but I, again, I am just shocked at this capability at the moment, and I'm not sure which one's gonna be better. As you notice, my desktop is a little bit different here. Uh, so this is the RTX 3090, and I just wanna showcase again, it gives me the same specs as uh, the AMD RX 5700 XT. We go to set up G-Sync settings, and this monitor is G-Sync compatible, so enable settings for the display, uh, selected display model. So G-Sync is actively functioning with this monitor. So giving you an example, G-Sync is doing the same exact thing as, 
as uh, FreeSync does, so to speak, right? They compare it the same way on the Blur Busters motion test. Now with FreeSync Premium, again, down to 30 some odd frames per second, you're actually going to get uh, better performance than you do off just standard G-Sync. So let's jump in game here. I'll have to log back in and we'll test out Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Okay, same deal here, guys. Adaptive Sync is on basic and it's uh, jumping up and down here. So we know that this is actively working. Let's do a little nuke down. I wanna test that motion capability. It honestly doesn't look as good. This NVIDIA does not look as good here, you guys, with motion capability on just the standard uh, refresh rate uh, V-Sync, variable sync. And I'm getting 88 frames per second in game, you guys. 88 to 100. Again, I'm maxed out on I'm maxed out on settings here. Yeah, I feel like this gameplay is not as good on this monitor as the FreeSync Premium. Now, does that mean that FreeSync Premium is just ultimately better? No. You know, again, uh, my settings are well tuned for AMD because I've been using them for a long time. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna test out the uh, HDMI capability and do a little FreeSync Premium utilizing this monitor. So let's make that switch over right now. All right, so as you can see, my settings are, are all the same. I mean, go down the list, it's, it's all there. And then we have ray tracing on DLSS on quality. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a little multiplayer and we're gonna get into Nuketown one more time using the FreeSync. Again, in the menu, you can see that FreeSync is on and that my response time is fast. Do the same thing here. Oh, wow, oh my God. That really just dropped that fence right in front of me. But I will say the motion is better with the clarity on this FreeSync Premium. And I'll slow it down a little bit for you guys to check out. That's not terrible. I don't think the motion's as good as I would like it to be. Wow, that was the slowest C4 kill I think I've ever had, you guys. Ooh, that will be a good one to look at. I, that was actually super clean. I felt every single piece of movement here. I'm pretty happy. I think the FreeSync Premium on this monitor is actually better than the G-Sync capability. And I know it's kind of hard to say because G-Sync is widely touted as one of the best. And this is a very simple example. I'm really just playing video games. But my honest opinion is this is a solid monitor. But if you do get it plug in through HDMI, and that's gonna get you the full, better experience here. Wow. Okay, let's jump out of here. When it comes to this monitor, the 32GN50T by LG, you don't have to make the sacrifice, whether you want G-Sync or FreeSync. At the end of the day, how was my experience? And was there a big enough difference between the G-Sync and FreeSync for me to tell you to search out one or the other? <sighs> That's a lot to really unpack, but very simply put, I would say that FreeSync Premium is better than the standard G-Sync. However, I know that there are better G-Sync technologies out there, such as G-Sync Ultimate. It does the same thing that FreeSync Premium does over DisplayPort. When utilizing the basic V-Sync technologies, I did feel like AMD was still a tad better than the G-Sync capability, at least on this monitor, and that could change for you. So I guess that really brings me to the end result here, which is it will highly depend on the graphics card that you have. But again, if, if you don't want to decide, that's why I made this video, because this LG GN50T, make sure you don't have to decide. FreeSync Premium kind of won me over, and that's where I'll lean. I'll lean that FreeSync Premium in this scenario did better for me. So that's really all you guys. I thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it because that's my goal. My goal is to show you unique features of new technologies. That way you can learn and maybe buy something for yourself that benefits the way that you game, maybe makes things a little bit easier for you. Whatever it is, I wanna hear about it. So please comment below. We actually have a Facebook page where you can come collaborate with us, join in the discussion, and that's called Only Nerds by Tech Accessory. 
Gregory. That's on Facebook once again, you guys. So go check out that page if you want to participate in the discussion. Otherwise, as always, I will catch you in the next video.